In my introduction to Video Clone, I already showed you how easy it is to use the Get Video button to automatically identify a portion of your PC screen that you either want to watch within the Video Clone user interface or record. And now I want to show you some of its other features. For example, while I am watching and recording this video, say I wanted to go online. So I just go to the Browser button, click Open Browser, and it automatically brings up a new browser window for me and I can still watch my video. But say all I want to do is record my video and not watch it. Then what I want to do is click the PIP button, which stands for Picture in Picture, and disable Picture in Picture Viewing. By turning off Picture in Picture, I'm saving precious computer processing power that I can then use for other things. The Mark button is used when the video that I am trying to capture or watch isn't very motion filled and so therefore the get video button won't work with it. So what I do is I click mark to manually identify the portion of my video screen that I want to watch or record. So it brings up this green outline and all I need to do is manually resize it to mark the region of the PC screen that I want to watch. And then under options, I click settings. You'll see these are the default settings the developer used for recording. The default is Windows Media Format, but you can also use AVI. The default video bitrate is 1200, but you can go lower or higher. The default frame rate is 20, but you can also go lower or higher. And finally, the default video recording time is set to 5 minutes. But of course, you're going to want to change that depending on the length of the recording you want. Also under options is the ability to activate recording if you haven't done so from the very beginning, so which is really handy. Say you're watching something and you suddenly decide, ooh, I want to record this. Just click record. And you can find and play back your recordings from here. Last but not least, it's important to remember that the Video Clone user interface is totally resizable. So you're not limited by this tiny little UI. You can just drag the user interface to any size you want and it'll stay on top of all other windows on your PC. It makes viewing that much more enjoyable. I hope you enjoy checking it out. Have fun!